Hey Joe, do you like to save money or spend it? Do you like to save it in a bank account or spend it right away as soon as you get it? What do you like to do with your money? Save it. Joe's pretty frugal. How many of you guys have a coffee can full of loose change like this? It's a mindset saving money. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Transition Tuesday. I'm Jane. This is Joe. We're talking about stable savings accounts stable savings accounts it is a program in Georgia other states have them too um, they are known as able accounts but in Georgia it's called a stable account and it's a way for you to take some of your Social Security benefits that you get uh, for disability social security disability benefits and put them in a special um, tax exempt savings account that you can use for a bigger range of things than you can use for straight up social security so we're going to talk about that to be eligible for a stable account in Georgia, you have to have developed your disability before age 26, and you've had to have lived with this disability for at least a year before you can apply for a stable account. So it's pretty loose, pretty loose uh, rules. Um, and it does tie to Social Security benefits. But the thing about Social Security is, um, you know, you can only have a certain number of assets. So if Joe had a regular bank account and had over $2,000 in that account, he would be at risk for losing his social security benefits because of the asset limits. But if you have a stable account, that doesn't count. There are limitations on a stable account. You can only um, make contributions or what we would call deposits of a limit of $15,000 a year um, and there's a $100,000 lifetime cap. Um, but, you know, the nice thing about it is, you know, Joe lives at home, so his Social Security benefits, which the only allowable uses, you know, for Social Security benefits are contrib contributions to the household expenses for utilities, and like so he can pay it for a phone bill he can pay for rent but it's very limited the thing about a stable account is you can take leftover let's say joe paid us uh, um let's say joe got his benefits for social security just easy math we're a hundred dollars a month so if fifty dollars of those uh, whoa dude he just had a huge breakfast can you tell if you you have uh if you spend fifty dollars on utilities and rent then the other fifty dollars could instead of sitting in that checking account we use for social security they could go as contributions to the stable account and so then there would be zero dollars in assets because all of the money in his checking account for Social Security would go into the stable account. And he'd have $50 in his sta saving account 
his stable savings account. And $50 a month can add up. Now, it's not a free-for-all. There are um, limitations on what you can use the stable account for, but it's a, a much wider array of things than with straight up social security. So you can use it for housing. You can put a down payment on a house with your stable account funds. Um, living expenses such as food and clothing. Um, transportation. You can modify a car or you can buy a car. Um, education. If you need help with paying for tuition or books. Um, assistive technology. Employment training and support. Um, health and wellness. You could join a gym. Um, you could get swimming lessons. Um, wellness, um, you know, different kinds of, uh, you know, nutritional needs, um, you know, vitamins, which are very expensive, equipment for your home, like if you wanted to get a treadmill, your stable account could pay for that. Um, and then financial management services, you can even use it to pay for the person's funeral expenses. The family can use it to pay for funeral expenses. Um, now, you can designate a, uh, like a legal representative. You have to fill out the paperwork for it, but um, you can fill that out so that, you know, mom or whoever your uh, power of attorney is or guardian could, you know, help you manage the funds. But it's a really great program. The application process is very easy. All of it goes online. Um, when Joe was qualified for Social Security benefits at age 18, we went ahead and applied for the stable account. So, um, you know, we've had the account for about two years and it's all online, so it's super easy. Um, I definitely would recommend looking into it. If you are planning to apply for Social Security benefits for your person when they turn age 18, um, you know, definitely think about it. It makes the, uh, the bookkeeping a little bit easier. And um, if your child has Social Security benefits now, this might be a great way to put a little bit of money aside for them as they get older so that they will have some assets to, like if when your child turns 16 and you wanna buy them a car and they're eligible for Social Security as a minor, you know, wouldn't it be great to have that money put aside for them to have a car and it not count against their assets for social security benefits. So it's a really good thing to look into. Um, just wanted to share that with you and we hope that uh, you look into it. Um, here is the website, it's georgiastable.com. And then if you have any questions for us about this or any other disability related topic, transition twos at gmail.com that's how you can reach out to us hope you have a great week and um stay green see you next time